assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to the channel so this is the continuation of the same exam paper march 2024 exam es economics paper 2 and in this video i'll explain you question number 4 part a and b question number of uh, uh, part a and b both require three assessment objectives assessment objective 1 2 and 3 assessment objective 1 is knowledge assessment objective 2 is analysis and then assessment objective 3 is evaluation these assessment objectives carry uh, different marks 3 3 and 2 assessment objective 1 3 carries 3 marks 3 marks and 2 marks so this is how you have to you basically write your answer so first of all uh, for assessment objective 1 you have to Uh, write down the meanings and description of the basic terms that are given in the statement of the question and uh, you have to identify those terms and then describe those terms uh, a little bit for 3 marks right so you need not to write a lot but you have to write at least so that you can get 3 marks okay so let's read the question carefully and question says explain what is meant by depreciation of exchange rate so yahan pe in this uh, you can see that uh, the term real gdp is also known as real output so you can replace this term exchange rate is the first knowledge point depreciation is the second knowledge point assessment objective 1 and like real gdp or real output is another term that is assessment objective 1 so you have to define what exchange rate is exchange rate is the price of a currency in terms of another currency for example 1 dollar is equal to 83 indian rupees depreciation of currency refers to the fallen value of currency in terms of another currency and real output is uh, the gdp of a country after the removal of distorting effect of inflation and now you have to analyze these terms right if depreciation occurs then what will happen to the exchange rate of the currency and depreciation occurs because of decrease in demand of currency or increase in supply of currency and you can make the graphs of both both of these like when demand falls demand for currency shifts to the left and when supply increases supply curve shifts to the right and you can make the graphs uh, you rather you should make the graphs as well So on X we have quantity of dollars and this is demand of dollars, supply of dollars. Equilibrium takes place, and quantity and exchange rate can be calculated accordingly. For example, here exchange rate is one dollar is equal to eighty three Indian rupees, and this is uh, quantity on X. Uh, now if there is decrease in demand of dollar, then demand will shift to the left D one. Equilibrium will move down. quantity will fall and exchange rate of dollar will decrease to 80 indian rupees okay so this is how you can make the graph of decrease in demand similarly you have to make the graph of increase in supply as well right so now 1 dollar can purchase less indian rupees so dollar has depreciated and you can make the graph of uh, increase in supply as well so you have to shift supply curve supply of uh, like supply of dollar to the right and again a new equilibrium will be formed and price will yeah exchange rate of dollar will decrease now moving to uh, the next thing ki if currency depreciate then what happens to the real output depreciation makes export cheaper price of export falls so quantity demand for exports will rise and total revenue from export will increase on the other hand price of import will increase demand for imports will fall and total expenditure on imports will also fall and when exports revenue increases import payment fall it will lead to rise in net export net exports are x minus m right so when x minus m increases aggregate demand will rise because x minus m is the major part of aggregate demand while aggregate demand is c plus i this is i plus g plus x minus m so c is consumption i is investment g is government spending x minus m is net exports so if net export increases then aggregate demand will rise and aggregate demand curve will shift to the right if you need to make the graph rather 
you need not to make the graph here uh, however if you want you can make the graph as well but it is not necessary here to make the graph when aggregate demand increases real GDP will rise and real GDP uh, economic growth will occur in the country and real GDP will increase so it may be like inflationary but real GDP increases in this case and then you have to finally conclude uh, the question in conclusion you have to write okay the depreciation may increase aggregate demand and real GDP of the country if demand for exports and imports is elastic right so price elasticity of demand for uh, exports and uh, imports should be elastic so when they are elastic a little change in price will lead to a greater change in quantity demand but in case of like inelastic demand the situation will be quite opposite elastic demand is when a little change in price leads to a greater change in quantity demand while inelastic demand is when a greater change in price leads to a le lesser change in quantity demand so you can see the exact answer section c question number 4a so you can stop the video read the answer or you can take screenshot you have to make the graph this is the graph that i was saying about and leftward shift in the demand curve and this is a rightward shift in the supply of dollars and fall in value of dollar from 83 indian rupees to 80 rupees okay so then whenever you make graph you have to explain that gra graph as well and this is uh, the rest of the part of this question and at then you have to give conclusion as well so this is a uh, part a complete answer of part a of question number four now moving to uh, question number four b part let me remove this first and so that i i can further write on this area of the page okay so question number uh, b again requires assessment objective one two three and right you have to identify the knowledge points and knowledge points like include uh, fiscal policy fiscal policy is the knowledge point contractionary fiscal policy is the knowledge point deficit current account is knowledge point and balance of payment is the knowledge point you have to describe these terms uh, as an assessment objective one <coughs> now moving to the analysis part okay how contractionary fiscal policy will uh, achieve this objective in contractionary policy tax rate increases government expenditure decreases aggregate demand will fall and when aggregate demand falls it decreases price level in the country and you can make the graph of this like aggregate demand aggregate supply curve as well and shift aggregate demand curve to the left when aggregate demand shifts to the left then price level will decrease real gdp will fall economic growth will slow down unemployment will rise but price level is controlled so when price level in the local economy is low then exports may rise because price level is low so exports may increase when export increases export earning may rise export may rise and imports may fall so when export earning is high import payment is low it will increase uh, net exports and correct the balance of payment deficit current account okay so current account deficit is corrected this way and then you have to like evaluate this policy as well you will say that fiscal policy might not always be effective because if it is not well aligned with uh, the monetary policy then it will be ineffective and you can talk about uh, the supply side policy and supply side policy uh, can be more effective as compared to the fiscal policy because through education and training of workers through trade union reforms through capital expenditure of the government on long term projects and through provision of subsidy government can increase investments in the country and improve uh, overall economic activity in the country employment and growth will also increase so when overall output increases at relatively low prices then domestic consumers may, may not import goods from other countries so imports may fall and exports may rise because now your prices are low so 
the other countries may be comfortable purchasing goods from you so exports will increase imports will fall so balance of payment current account deficit can be corrected so this is how you can write about the fiscal policy then you can talk about uh, some limitations of the fiscal policy as well as supply side policy as, as well so in supply side policy subsidy may be, may be misused workers might not learn the new skills so education and training provided by the government may be wasted so at the end you have to uh, like say that fiscal policy has time lag like it takes time to uh, identify the issue and make policy and then implement the policy and getting the results and in supply side policy again subsidy may be you misused workers may not learn the new skills that are being taught by the government so it is again uh, issue so then you have to give a conclusion uh, let's have a look on the exact answer that you should write so this is part B of question number four so stop the video read the question carefully and then try to reproduce similar type of answers if you want to get full marks or maximum marks in the examination properly you have to give so fall in aggregate demand decreases real GDP from Y to Y1 but price level decreases from P to P1 inflation is controlled but economic growth falls and unemployment increases okay so uh, whenever you make graph explain it thoroughly what does this graph show again stop the video read the question answer and you can take screenshot as well so this is the end of this question so in the next video i'll explain you question number five part a and b since then allah face see you inshallah allah face